ladies and gentlemen. If you remember last week, I did a video on something called qualified immunity. And this is where cops don't have to be accountable for their actions. And this is why we continuously see cops not get punished at all. And yes, it's okay to defund a police department or disband a police department, but the real thing you want to get away from them, besides the union, is disqualified immunity. Well, this is a story that came out on NPR June 15, 2020. Supreme Court will not re-examine doctrine that shields police in misconduct suits. So as you can see, the government once more is letting you know they don't care how badly you are being brutalized in this country. Their concern is protecting cops, even if they're abusing and killing the public. This is what they're saying. So a growing number of people across the country are raising concerns about police brutality. The U.S. Supreme Court on Monday refused to re-examine the much criticized modern day legal doctrine created by judges that has shielded police and other government officials from lawsuits over their conduct, which should not exist. Nobody in this society should be above the law, but this qualified immunity is telling you they are above the law. And as you can see, the Supreme Court is upholding this. Again, proof they don't care nothing about the citizens at all. In an unsigned order, the court declined to hear cases seeking re-examination of the doctrine of qualified immunity. Justice Clarence Thomas, huh, whatever. Um, dissented, saying the qualified immunity doctrine appears to stray from the statutory text. It takes the vote of four justices to grant review of a case developed in recent decades by the high court. The qualified immunity doctrine has applied to police initially asked two questions. Did police use excessive force, which they normally do? That's like the norm in America. And if they did, should they have known that their conduct was illegal because it violated a clearly established prior court ruling that barred such conduct? So again, I just see this as red tape you know, and as far as America doing the right thing, they have thrown some red tape in the way. And the law is now hiding behind this and giving cops, you know, they're granting them the will to just go out on the street and do whatever. So you definitely don't want to ignore this. You want to make sure if you're going to fight to disband police departments, you have to fight for qualified immunity to be abolished. It must be done away with. But in practice, because of the recent Supreme Court decision, lower courts have most often dismissed police misconduct lawsuits on the ground that there is no prior court decision with nearly identical facts, just excuses for not doing the right thing, just excuses. Several recent studies, including one conducted by Reuters, have found that dozens of cases involving horrific acts, some just as bad as those involving George Floyd in Minneapolis and Breonna Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky, were thrown out of court 
on the grounds that there was no clear established court precedent forbidding the conduct. That's why critics of the qualified immunity doctrine have called it a catch-22 that says to victims, in effect, heads, the police wins, tails, you lose. Yeah, (laughs) really. Two Supreme Court justices have repeatedly urged the court to re-examine qualified immunity doctrine. Sonia Sotomayor, arguably the court's most liberal justice, and Thomas, arguably the most conservative. In one previous dissent, Sotomayor said the court displays an unflicting willingness in allowing the lower courts to grant qualified immunity to police officers, but rarely intervenes when lower courts go too far. This one-sided approach transforms qualified immunity into an absolute shield for law enforcement officers, she wrote. Similar, unusual ideological um, alliances have been formed by uh, organizations that file briefs, short, uh, I'm sorry, briefs regularly um, at the court from the conservative libertarian Cato Institution and the Institute for Justice for the Liberal American Civil Liberties Union and the NAACP, all of which have urged the court to revisit qualified immunity doctrine. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this government don't care what cops do to the black citizens in this country. They are for allowing them to continue to be out here. And no matter what they do, there is no accountability. So if you're going to fight this whole thing, we got to fight it on all levels. It can't just be one thing and you ignore something like qualified immunity because ultimately you're going to disband a police force, start all over from scratch. And eventually those cops will become corrupt because they will know what this is. And they will have in their mind already, well, it don't matter what I go out there and do because I have qualified immunity. And then you'll be starting this whole process all over again of getting rid of corrupt cops. I mean, these cops know from the door they have this qualified immunity. That's why many of them don't care how they treat you. But y'all, please tell me what you think about the Supreme Court refused to hear anything about qualified immunity. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.